I don't know why I'm making a video other than I can. So I'm, that's what motivated me to do it. I can do it. So I will. Yeah. Oh, I know what I can talk about. Something I wanted to talk about before, but it's such a big, scary topic that uh, potentially for some people. Uh, is this a better angle if I move it back some or whatnot? I don't know. But uh, I was watching this guy on, on YouTube. Who, he has a channel about the Die Hold Foundation. I don't know how legit it is. I don't know how influential or legit legitimate it is. But uh, um, he's talking and presenting evidence supporting the idea that the Sun Novas and I'm, I'm I, and, and you got my attention because stars do Nova okay not they, they also supernova but they can Nova which is you know from my understanding the point at which they kind of go into hibernation they kind of start to become less active and cool down and then during that process, because of the cooling process, the outer outside of the star kind of de- goes and go develop. Get, it kind of hardens and makes like a shell or casting. I don't know what you call it—a shell, like an M M&M and M or something. But uh, he's sent, he's support. He's presenting all these supporting ideas that indicate, I'm not saying all is, everything he talks about is, uh, can be explained very well, but, it, but on the topic of the Sun nova he he has a lot of supportive ideas and, and, actual, like, references to support it, you know, that the Nova, I mean, that there's a cycle where the sun Novas every 36,000 years, you know, and he's saying, based on his understanding of when the last Nova was, you know, that we're approaching, potentially within this century, at least the be- beginning point <coughs> of that process. And then, and then, you know, I, I think about a lot of things, and I take, I, my, my, my brain sucks in, like certain, like a lot of information of what, in the in like what people are saying and my observations and my interact, you know, what people say and I already said that. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about Elon Musk lately and what he's been doing. I. I and has been doing for some time, and, and I think, I think that that Die Hold Foundation dude, I can't remember his name, went, uh, it may be onto something based on the f- idea of what Elon Musk is not saying about what he's doing, because I have an idea that based on the Sun nova uh, that and what I imagine would happen during a nova is that when this cat when it novas and, the, and it casts off its outer hardened surface, it uh, it has a, it's like a big release of energy, like an explosion throughout the solar system. To some, uh, at least, it impacts you know, the closest planets the most, 
And I, I imagine a, an explosion, a release of energy like that would knock the closest planets back away from it. It would knock that planet away as it's orbiting. And its orbit would expand, you know, if, if it wasn't completely knocked out of the solar system, which it probably wouldn't be. It just stabilized back into a larger orbit further from the sun. Which leads me to believe that if all this is potentially happening, that if it does Nova, that because Earth, where we are, is at a good distance from the sun, it's in that sweet spot to support life, and Mars is is even is the next planet closer to the sun from Earth, and if it Novas, it's going to push the planet, all those clo the closer planets back. You know, and I potentially Mars might move into this sweet spot way in the future. Way, way. But the likelihood of humankind surviving something like that is pretty slim. And, and it would be very hard I, to, I imagine if it were even possible. But then I got thinking about what Elon Musk is doing. He's driving self-driving cars, which is a form of artificially intelligent, you know, vehicles that can traverse, you know, the highways or the surface of the pathways covering, you know, the planet automatically with, like, satellites and artificial intelligence and all that. Plus, not only that, he's he seems to have an obsession with Mars. Okay? And also, they, they say he's digging tunnels underground. You know? For some reason. Which I still don't... He, they don't really elaborate on any of this. Why he's doing it. It's like, oh, well, self-driving cars. Neat. I mean, I, I kind of like driving cars, but, you know, it's fun. It's nice to be able to do that. So self-driving cars doesn't seem like something I would be obsessed with. You know? And, and plus, placing your life in the hands of, of some machine doesn't appeal to me. You know, but you combine all these things he's doing, he's trying to get to Mars, potentially, digging under town tunnel, underground tunnels, and trying to develop an art, artificial AI. If this Die Hold Foundation guy is onto something, Elon Musk may be seeing what what he's talking about, but can't really say what he's doing, really, really motivated to do. Because I, I, I could see Elon Musk uh, trying to uh, like, for instance, this is just a theory. Considering this world is creating an immense amount of carbon, they say, like a lot of carbon to where it's become, they say it's becoming a problem, but really, carbon is a building block of life, right? So, maybe Elon Musk wants to, I mean, he could start delivering payloads of carbon to Mars, as well as like some form of genetic material or basic life forms like pro uh, like uh, bacteria which is like the early isn't that the earliest forms of life and like at the very least be doing something like that 
and these automated you know self-driving cars could be a way of developing like machines which will kind of operate on Mars that can adapt to you know you know making sure that life will you know if if it's, if it does nova and mars is pushed into a more livable environment considering it has you know it does have water in the form of ice you know it could uh that may be the next step that may be a, like a new beginning after the Nova and those underground tunnels he may be trying to also s save as many people as he can you know for as long as he can by saying you know I have these tunnels once this becomes like obvious that or if, it, if, if it is happening and people become aware of it he can say you know I have prepared these tunnels for people for people who for those who can and, and will voluntarily or because they want to and can reasonably live underground you know in the off chance that we can create an uh, underground environment that can sustain us, that is self-sustaining for that, for however long, which, you, you know, it takes, you know, like, this may take, you know, centuries, if not more, to stabilize, you know, and... So the it, it it would at least allow people to go on living f as long as they can, while simultaneously creating a way to make sure life goes on. If not, you know, like machines that can uh, you know. Maybe gene splicing can, or by preserving human DNA under the right conditions with AI being able to uh, maintain that DNA and, you know, and survive uh, just, just by, you know, shipping carbon and bacteria, you know, and genetic material, and proteins, and every, oh, as much as we can to Mars, and try to preserve it in a way that it could survive a nova, at least, at least, that would help that you know if not if it's not part of the grand scheme of things and you know it, it may be, you, you know it may uh, at least help life go on he may be he, he may be acting on the behalf of something larger than himself if it not just a larger understanding Potentially, uh, kind of doing what he can, you know. If, if he's even if he's not aware of it, that's if he's really motivated by these little toys. Then, and exploration, like he says. Maybe he's 
unwittingly doing his part for something, for the universe, or for the solar system, or something larger than himself is working through him, if he's not fully aware of it. You know, which is, he, he seems pretty smart, you know, he, like he's kind of aware of some things. So, makes you wonder, makes you wonder, makes me wonder. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be too old. I'm, I'm going to be dead by the time this... If, if this ever happens, I'll already be dead. Most likely. Even if it takes, you know, it doesn't start, the sun doesn't even start cooling, you know, becoming less active for another 50, 60 years, I'm not probably not going to be alive then, so, uh, most likely, unless I live to be 100, but, uh, which, I mean, look at me, and I got diabetes, and more obese, and not, I smoke, so, yeah. But, uh, who knows, right? Alright, I guess that's good enough. <laughs>